I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee. We are set for a main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now we're going to see opponent fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we are back at the O2 Arena, London, England. We were not here when Leon Edwards confronted Jorge Masvidal backstage, the whole three-piece and soda bit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him, and he got a feel that he was not expecting. Let me tell you something, man. When you're in the arena, when you're in the O2 Arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Body shot. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Goes upstairs with the kick. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Oh, is that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique when done the right way. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, he talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Just out of the range with that right hand. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's hurt. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Back and forth we go. Big power shot there. Oh, and he found the target again. Beautiful body kick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Lee gets hit with a kick. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 
Nice work, guys. That right hand landed. Nice slip to avoid the left. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Strong. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh, lands an elbow. Plenty more where that came from. Give me that hook and that high kick. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 30 seconds to go in this one. Great job blocking that shot. This dude can kick. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Huge oh, strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nice high kick. What a start. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Nice left hand by him. Hands high, hands high. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he made. Great job. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, misses with the jab. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. 
he should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, great block there. Two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he's got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. That knee might have landed there. Nice crack there. Pretty good jab there by Lee. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with the left hook. Not there. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, nice right hand. Oh. Oh. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Taking a lot of body shots as well. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Final seconds here. All right, round three coming up next. All right, buddy, let's go. Take a seat here. All right, I need you to slow down and relax. I need you to calm that mind, okay? Let's get this stand up under control. Everything you're doing, you're forcing me. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Good Third round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had a huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. I need you to kick now. Oh! He goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Back kick there. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. I want to see your kick. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Nice. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice slip there and a beautiful counter. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lee's limping heavily now. Might not be a bad idea to raise that knee. Try to check a kick. I'm just not sure how many more he can take. Three minutes to go. Nice punch lands over the top.
Just missed with the elbow there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks. You... That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, with authority, the body. Man has his chin been tested early. About two minutes here to go in round three. Landed that left hook. Oh, man. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another team. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Whoa. Oh. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Twenty seconds left. Just misses with a left hook there. And now some separation. Final seconds here. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, man. You're doing great, okay? You've got this fight in the back, but I do not want you to pull off. I want you to keep the pressure on. Fight smart. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. So a block on the strike, and now the counter jab for good measure. Nice job by the longer fighter there. Missed with that right hand. That one stuck in. Nice strike. He got him hurt bad here. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big kick lands. Well, he can 
continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Targeting the body with the kick now. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Big punch land. Ooh. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Oh, nice kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up. He hurt him real bad. Went for the inside leg kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, and the high kick lands. Checks the leg kick. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. And that's been a kick down to Tom up top. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, doing work with the jab. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Let's go forward now. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Right on the button. Back and forth we go. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Under a minute now to go. Liver kick. Bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, sidekick lands. Slips the shot. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Oh, a huge block there. And he caught the kick. Time, time. sounds for the end of round four. Okay, okay, sit down. Great. Good patience out there, man. You did great. Your striking looks amazing. Keep your hands up and stay sharp. You're out working. All right, what a five minutes it was, DC. Take us through the replay if you would. The story of the round was the knees. Every time they came into contact, he was looking to drive his knee into the body of his opponent. And if his opponent ever thought body knee coming, he would just mix up the target and try to take it up top. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, DC, here we go as our next round gets underway. And if you like Muay Thai striking and if you like knees, that previous round was the one for you. He does such a phenomenal job of getting into position. The How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. He went high on that one. There's a kick. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lee 
his left leg is now compromised. Perhaps it was that last kick, but clearly you can see he is dealing with a limp, and that could be a storyline that continues as this fight rolls on. types of fights that we expect. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, nice slip and then the counter for good measure. So making good use of that reach advantage now. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Lee. Nice side kick. Great block there. That was a hard body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Back to the overhand left, no good. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Switch kick lands. Caught by that straight punch, that'll get his attention. Oh, that will land it, yep. Lee's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Big head kick lands. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Straight right hand now, just misses. Ooh. Caught the kick. Just out of range with that strike. Right now, touches him with the left. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Watch knees to the body. One minute to go in the fight. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He still hurt. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Out of range with that kick attempt. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. That jab, jab lands. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, 
After five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.